Traveling with time zones. So we're going to be looking at how to actually manipulate these things to actually work out how flights and stuff work. So a flight from Perth leaves at 6.30 p.m. to Cape Town, South Africa, taking 13 hours and 45 minutes. Determine the arrival time in Perth local time. So I often like to really nut down and go through this. Oh, sorry. And we're going to say this happens on a Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. So it's Tuesday. The time is 6.30 p.m. And another important thing to put is we are departing at this time on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Now, the flight is taking 13 hours and 45 minutes. Um, oh, sorry, and this is in... This is in the location of Perth, but in UTC plus 8, because that's Perth time. Ready? Now, since the flight takes 13 hours and 45 minutes, we're just going to add that on, and this will be the arrival time. But notice that we're still going to be in UTC plus 8. We're not going to be um, in local time for South Africa. All right, so adding 13 hours and 45 minutes. Well, if we add 45 minutes, we're going to add 15, and it's going to be 7, and we're going to add 13. Well, it's like adding so it's 7 a.m., 8 a.m. 8, 15 a.m., and it's going to be the next day, so it's Wednesday. There we go. Um, but we're no longer in Perth now. We're in Cape Town. But the thing is, is, right, that's for Perth local time. We're still in UTC plus 8. For part B, it wants us to determine that exact same thing, the arrival time, but this time in Cape Town local time. Now, for Cape Town itself, uh, the UTC zone is plus 2. So for Cape Town, it's UTC plus 2. Now, it's minus 6. Where does that come from? Well, 2 minus 8 is minus 6, so the conversion is minus 6. All right, so subtract six hours. Now, it's still going to be Wednesday, but it's going to be 2, 15 a.m. So you're going to leave at 6.30 p.m., and you're going to arrive at 2.15 a.m. the next day. So a little bit strange, but you kind of gain a little bit of time back. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.